Page nine, sounds from the gumdrop factory. Four, four time, not having anything new here. We're just using what we have. Let's sort of check and see what's going on. I'm gonna start with the right hand. Third finger's on E, that puts your hand in this position. Okay, so you're here. One, two, three, and four, and one, four. See the second measure? One and two, and one and two, and that's fine. The second line is similar to that. Let's go to the third line. You got to move up here into the F position here because you have an F chord, an F, an A, and a C. It's the three notes involved. Just lower the whole hand down. You're fine. Try and get them down at the same time. One and two and three and four and one and two. So I'm using the same fingers. And, the, and this going up or down one key on the keyboard is important. should do it in both hands. You can mirror the hands. I like to go that fast. It's the idea that when I do this, I don't actually aim all three fingers. Ugh. I'm, I'm aiming the thumb. Some people, you can aim whichever note is the melody, whatever. And all I'm doing is moving that one. That one. That's what it is. And I hold my hand in that position and the other fingers just go along for the ride. It works very well. The trick is to stay relaxed because you'll hold your hand in that position and you'll tense up trying to keep it in that position. Uh-uh. You want to keep it in that position but you got to stay relaxed. So make sure you're collapsing the wrist on each of these notes because if you, you can't be tense and collapse the wrist at the same time. Flex it? Uh-uh. So make sure you f your f the wrist gives a little with each one, and and that will help you out on that. Left hand just has these eighth notes way down here, a C and a G. One and two and one. I'm just rotating here back and forth. And that's all the left hand does until the last couple measures and the last line. You're here. C sharp, G sharp. And the next measure, you back to natural. Remember those sharp signs are only good for that measure. So once we cross that bar line, we're here. And C sharp, G sharp again. Now naturals. They gave you natural signs. You have to. Otherwise, it'd be G sharp and C sharp again. So the last two measures is one and two and three and four. You get that? Try the hands together and see what happens. Try going a little fast. You take it at your speed. Drop down to the third line. You're, you had to move up here. You're ending the second line here. And you're just going to lift up and move here in the right hand. And then the last line, the last two measures, that C in the right hand is tied, so watch out. Like so, and we add the articulation. The staccatos, uh, I recommend a nice light wrist staccato here, this way. Keep it soft. So forth. And you get down to the third line, these chords are not staccatos. You're going to have a little silence between them because they're repeated notes, but otherwise you hang on to them. The left hand is. Can you do two different things at once? Huh? Because this is staccato, but this isn't. Now it's staccato. Rit there at the bottom, R I T, retardando. Slow down a little bit. So forth. Then we add the dynamics. The dynamics go to the melody for the most part. So here it's moderately loud. Whatever you think that is, keep this left hand soft out of the way because it's easy when you have a lot of stuff going on. 
to bring it out. You'll just naturally bring it out. You'll overpower the right hand. Uh-uh. Keep it soft. down to the third line you go up to loud I suggest you continue to keep the left hand soft just here back to moderately soft or moderately loud at the last line and the last measure you're going to decrescendo but that's the left hand because it's the only thing that's got notes. The right hand you can't do anything with. It's going to decrescendo on its own. So what you can do is listen to the right hand die away and copy that in the left hand if you can. So the last two measures. So softer and soft. I still want to hear that C all the way through while you're doing this in the left hand. I want to hear that. So keep it. Speed wise. Well, I think it goes about as fast as I've been doing it. Now, you take it at whatever speed you need to, but it has to be steady and even. No hesitations. If you're hesitating anywhere, work on those spots and get rid of the hesitations, because the beat has to be steady. So it's, it's... Something like that. On the third line down in the second measure, there in the right hand when you have these chords. You're saying bounce loosely from the wrist careful. The idea is, yes, you're flexing the wrist, you're using a wrist staccato here, bump, 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 but it's a very small motion. Don't get carried away here. Don't hit the keys. It's but that's the motion of it. So it's, it's do that, bump, 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 bump. For something like that. I'd like to play it with you very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do the dynamics, but I will do the staccatos. So I'll give us four counts, and let's just go through it slowly together. One and two and ready and go and one. 